<laughs> Come on. That's good enough. <laughs> Hi there. How are you this morning? How many families? Two families? Okay. Maxi? Good morning. How many families? One family. Okay. I'm packing up dairy bags. So milk and cheese fresh right out of the refrigerator to hand to the people that are coming through driving. And um, it just needs done. You know, virus or not, people are hungry. And if we're home and we're able to, doesn't it make sense to help out? The only way we're going to get through this is by working together. Right now we are in need of volunteers and um, we are happy to take anybody that is healthy and able. You just go to our website and uh, click the button volunteer um, or how to support us and you'll see the information about our different volunteer opportunities. And if you, you know, are having trouble on the website, just call us because we are happy to take a phone call and figure out you know, where a place is that you can help us in terms of our volunteer needs. As an economy, you just can't get nothing at the stores, money's low. In response to the um, health crisis right now, the York County Food Bank has stepped up to meet the need um, in terms of the people that are going hungry. Um, you know, we've always been there for the community, but there are more and more people that are out of work right now and that need us more than ever, uh, as well as our seniors and all the kids that are home now um, not with schools closed. Him and his wife don't work anymore. So that's a big plus for them. We have taken lots of safety measures. Um, we have now closed our food bank in terms of not letting the public come in. We still are allowing volunteers to come in and help us because we are now packing emergency food boxes and we are distributing those to anybody that needs them. We've been doing two distributions each week and we are trying to limit contact as much as possible. So we are doing drive-through distributions. Go all the way forward, all the way forward. One. The health and safety of our volunteers is very important. In that respect, we are making sure that we are facing our volunteers out when they come to our food bank. We are making sure that they have social distance and they are helping us to pack emergency food boxes. And we also need volunteers to help us with um, deliveries because we work with over 100 partner agencies and they are still working. They are still getting food out there and we need to make deliveries to them so that they have the food that they can then get that out to people in need. We also have volunteers that are going out into the community to pick up some of our food donations, although that may change depending on what happens in terms of um, restaurants and businesses staying open. We have realized pretty quickly that um, the need has grown exponentially. With that in mind, we quickly are um, anticipating to ramp up and we secured a new location. It is on uh, Haynes Road in the east side of York County by M&T Bank and right next door to the Salvation Army. And as of Monday, we'll be operating out of that facility. And our hope is to pack as many emergency food boxes as we possibly can and get that out to anybody that's in need. And we'll be doing a mass drive-through distribution on Tuesday afternoon. So just check our website to find out what time that distribution is happening. Um, and you are, anybody that's in need of food, we you can come to that distribution and, and receive a box of, it's about three to four days worth of groceries and we are hoping to also be able to provide some fresh um, food items, produce, dairy, and some meat as well. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on to the right. Trying to urge people to only come once a week and if they themselves are um, feeling sick or unhealthy and are not able to come to the food bank, we tell them send somebody in their place. We are more than happy to provide them with a food box. And we're glad they're doing it. I think we need a lot of love amongst us. People don't realize how important this is.